what is up guys, Toasty Bros here. We're here with a very interesting video. We're going to be seeing if we can build a PC locally in one day for a hundred bucks. Let's roll that intro. All right guys, so we're actually on our way to LaGrange in Kentucky. It has the i3 in it. Um, it has DDR3 memory, but only like two gigs, so that, that's our main we'll, have to, we'll have to figure that out, and we need a graphics card. So yeah, we're going to go get this PC. It's like an old i3-2100 system, so it should be pretty good for games. The two gigs of RAM kind of concerns us a little bit, but we should be fine. We're kind of just like hunting around for a graphics card, and once we actually get one of those, then we should be set. We're pretty good on time, so we have some time in case something just totally falls through, but it should be very interesting, and we'll see if we can get something in no time at all really. It's just like less than a day. We pitched this as a day, but it's like six hours maybe. So guys, we actually just picked up this computer right here. And it's actually not too bad of a computer. It actually looks pretty nice. It still even has the original protecting stuff right here. So um, I'd assume that it's not been super used. This guy actually had a whole lot of computer stuff and extra hardware lying around, but he didn't really have too much to actually give to us. Um, we did end up picking up, I don't know, this is the one gig. Um, there's only two DIMMs for RAM in here, so we did go ahead and put in an extra two gig that we got for five bucks, right? Yes. And then, basically now we have three gigs of RAM, which is not a lot, but... But it's um, better than two. <laughs> better than two. It's we have an extra stick if we ever decide to use it for something in CDR3. Um, now we're actually getting ready to go check out a graphics card, and we'll get back with you guys. Yep. We're on the phone right now with somebody who has a graphics card that we're kind of interested in, so we're kind of I mean, negotiate that. Yeah, that's, that's actually where we live. <laughs> okay. Alright, homie, so what are we doing? Taking a lunch break, uh, the guy's going to be meeting us at Chipotle, and we're going to hopefully be buying a graphics card. So what is this graphics card again? It's like a... a NVT315. Uh, it's like a low profile like GT card. We're gonna see if it's any good. Um, we're gonna go from there. We're kind of just taking our you know lunch break at Free Guac. <laughs> free Guac. It's our first Chipotle experience actually. So yeah, so they gave us like extra free chips and stuff. Chipotle lit. All right, so we actually just got like a gold mine basically of PC hardware. The guy we met for the graphics cards, which were brand new actually, he was gonna give us a deal for both of them for 40 bucks because we realized we could use them for other builds. But he had a little bit of stipulation to it. He said, he'll give them both to us for 40 bucks if we buy some hard drives with it. These are not gonna go towards the build. We're gonna use these for other videos. So we're gonna technically price it out as 20 bucks per graphics card because that's what I originally asked him. I said, well, you take 20 bucks for one. And he was like, well, yeah, sure. But I'd like if you buy these hard drives too so I can get rid of them. And then he's like, well, I have like 40 sticks of DDR3 RAM too. And we're like, all right, let's meet him back at the house with some extra money. Yeah, and so we just get and, all uh, this RAM. Cause you know, RAM prices are ridiculous right now and having some DDR3 for old builds and just, he'd probably get, I'd be willing, he'd probably drop a bunch of those dims for like five bucks a dim or something. Yeah. And like, cause he has like 40 of them and we can get that. Yeah, he's just like a system admin and he just has all this old hardware and whatever at his house. So we're gonna go there, see what kind of stuff we can look at and try to get some good deals for other builds also. It kind of worked out really well for both of us. So. Let's do this. Let's go. All right, so where are we at right now? What's <laughs> going on guys? Um, let's go for our lives. This camera gets found. We got murdered. Okay guys, so we are back and we have all the parts that we're gonna be using in this build. We got a bunch of other crap also that's just back there we're gonna talk about in some other video. Um, but what we have right here is a graphics card. This is an NVIDIA NVS315. You can talk about that thing a little bit. Um, so I did, I did a little bit of research on it. Um, I think it was actually, it came out in like 2013, like late 2013, so it's actually kind of a newer card. Matt and I both really didn't know anything about them. I've never heard of the series. Um, they actually seem to not be too bad. I, I don't know if this is true, but I read with whatever processor was in it, it got like 53. Um, FPS and GTA 5 on high settings. <laughs> we'll see I don't about know that. What resolution or anything, but um, we paid 20 bucks for it, so can't really beat that. And it's new in box, and it kind of gives us the chance to, you know, test it out and see what it can do, also. And then as for the RAM, we bought the RAM in bulk, and for this build, we kind of priced it out to where how much we got per DIM, which are 4 gigabyte DIMMs, which ended up being $8.88 for both 4 gig DIMMs. Um, and then the PC, which we ended up paying. We, we were going to pay 60 for it, um, and it came with 2 gigs, but then we actually, we got the RAM after the matter. That's the only sucky part about doing this local thing, 
is you don't know what you're walking into. When yeah, you go to these yeah, you, you might end up getting, you might end up paying way more than going to someone else, and they'll give you something for way cheaper. So we paid an extra five bucks for a two gig stick. This thing only has two dims in it, so we were gonna have three gigs of RAM, but now we're just gonna take both of those out, the one gig and the two gig, and put both these four gigs in. So we'll have eight gigs of RAM and kind of be on par with the the newer type of gaming and all the applications that suck up all your RAM. So I guess we're just going to put the graphics card in, upgrade the RAM, and then power on the system and get to some benchmarks. Alright guys, we're going to be testing a fan favorite here. This is Minecraft. So this is Minecraft on the PC, obviously. We're testing it on the little less than $100 PC. Um, you can see it kind of gets like a constant 30 FPS. Let me show you guys the graphics here. So we got everything like pretty much all the way up. Alright guys, so now we're testing out Rocket League. Guys, you can see we have it on the like almost worst quality possible. Um, we did manage to get it up to almost 30 FPS. So is it playable? Uh, yeah, but... You know, is, is it enjoyable? Not, not exactly. Alright guys, so in conclusion, I'd say that, you know, Matt and I, we got a pretty good deal as far as this computer goes to the fact that it does have a, a somewhat newer gen or mid-range i3 in it. Um, we got a, I guess you could say, not too old a graphics card that's an enterprise version. Um, and it obviously does support dual display, so that's nice to have. And then, I mean, overall, though, it actually is a really clean computer for the price that we got it, and we managed to do it all within a few hours, and we're pretty impressed that we didn't. We're impressed that we managed to upgrade the RAM and everything within that time, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys later.